76.9%. According to the National Institute of Justice, 76.9% of drug addict and related criminals are rearrested. 76.9% will see that same bench and caught more than one time in their lifetime. This is why I believe drug addicts should not be sent to jail, but should be sent to medical facilities. We have the ability to save so much money by doing that. According to the Crime and Delinquency Journal, if only 10% of the drug addicts that were sent to jail currently were sent to a medical facility, the United States would save $4.8 billion. That money could be used for so many more things, such as schools, the community, roads, that pothole that's right outside your house. Think what we could do with $4.8 billion. But it's a quick fix. It's like a Band-Aid. It's just temporary. You rip it right off. The issue is, is when they get back out, they don't have any tools. They have nothing that's showing them how to contribute or live their life and to fix it. So there's a couple of years there, but then 76.9% are going to be right back. Uh, in the United States, uh, they took a particular budget by an independent budget office, and it actually stated in New York City cost $167,731 a year to guard, feed, house just one criminal. Now, that's not to count most of them. If they're going away for drug-related crimes, could be more than a year sentencing. Then that's also going to count that they're coming back. That's just money wasted. We're literally wasting money and not making America better. Counter end, according to the Recovery Village, it only costs $31,000 for residential treatment. Of that $31,000 uh, participant, $21,000. help solve the problem for a fraction of the cost, one-fifth of all drug addicts have learned the tools and have stayed sober for five years or more. So not only are we eliminating costs and reducing that, but we're also bettering the community. Right now, annually, uh, the National Institute of Drug Abuse states $700 billion each year is related to either drugs, drug-related crimes, drug-related murders, even drug-related robberies. The U.S. Department of Justice says that 26.8% of all robberies are initiated because of a drug influence problem. Whether it's getting money to actually you know, pay for the drug habit, if it's because of a sale or a drug going wrong, that's all done by the actual perpetrator. This means that it starts with us. It starts with you. We together have the ability to make this community a safer place, to give the drug addicts you know, the tools to not go back to jail, to not actually go ahead back and prov provide these criminal activities they've been providing the community and actually do something positive. In turn, that's going to save you money. Who do you think pays that $167,000 you know, to each criminal? It's not America. It's, it's us. It's me. It's you. It's our tax money. It's our tax money that doesn't go to our children, that doesn't go to our families. And it, the somebody nearby that may be struggling or, you know, maybe having an issue. It, it's our job to reach out and talk to them to stop it there. And then at a legal standpoint, once they get to the point it's beyond help, it's our job as America to also change the direction and change the plan because we can't keep doing the same thing. These people, the tools, the support, advice, guidance, and even the assistance that they may need. By doing this, we actually are causing us to build a better America. The bigger thing though, I ask you this one question, it's, it's time for you to decide. A famous person once said, things do not change, we change. The change starts with us. The change starts with me. The change starts with the way that we do things today in America when it comes to our drug addicts, how we just send them away to jail to, so they can sit there and supposedly get rehabilitated, yet they get put into this bubble. When they come back out, they have no new tools, 
nothing to uh, stop the feelings and the urges that they previously had to keep them out of those groups, to get new activities, to have new items, because the things they were doing in jail, they can't do outside. It's not like you get to go back in jail and visit. You know, once you're out, you're out. So the real change starts with us. The real change starts with the habits that we've been doing for so many years. You can see after reading these statistics nothing is really changing or improving these are high numbers so why do we not take the risk i ask you to think deep down inside if you still think after hearing everything here that criminals or drug addicts should actually be sent to jail or should we get them the tools and the help so that we can get them to a medical facility so not only can we help them to better their families to better our community but to also keep the cost down so we can put it to better things such as those schools and our families that I discussed.